Hello there, folks. Hey, this is Joe Wazoo here today. Uh, just doing another uh, RS-232 raw ASCII protocol uh, demo. And in this case, I've got a CR3K HMI that happens to have two RS-232 ports and two RS-45 ports. And so on the back of it here, or this side, bottom, sorry, it's got an RS-232 port here, and it's got another one over here. And what I'm doing in this application is quite simply, I'm just using a port print and a port read command. So uh, uh, if I go over here to the main menu, let me show you. And we have this hello, send hello program here. And that's going to send out a command. And then we're going to read it back in. Let me go to the Crimson database. Hold on. Let me show you what I have here. So on Crimson, <clears throat> I have over here under the RS-232 port, this one here called program port, which operates just like a regular port. I have chosen uh, the pick button in the system. I'm doing the raw serial port. That's what I've got picked. Uh, I got the mode as a master. I don't really think it matters with this one, but uh, anyway, I got that there. And then I've got this baud rate set up here. You see, I've got a program here on update. I'll talk about that here in a second, but move this out of the way, move it down here. I want you to notice here <clears throat> that this particular port or uh, what port? Yeah, sure. Is port number one. So here I want you to take notice that says port number one because uh, if I click on the other one here, this one right here, same exact settings other than this one set with slave. Again, I don't really know if that matters, but this is port number two. So if I go back to display pages, let's focus on our original one, this one right here. So this button right here is hopefully going to send out the command hello out port one. So if I right click on this and go to properties, <clears throat> I want you to notice something here. The text tab just has that, but on the action tab, I'm doing a user defined, and I always like to be an advocate of doing on released, and I'm doing a command called port print with the number one and then a double quotation marks hello. So the port print command is actually found over here in the lower right hand corner in the system. If you expand the functions tree, and I believe go to comms port, there's the command right there, port print. Now, most of these commands, you can right click and do show help info, and that'll show you what the uh, uh, example is and the documentation. So in this case, the number one here is using port one to send out this command. So that's what I'm doing there when I push that button. I'll hit OK or cancel. Now I have another one here, send to what? I call this my hello what screen. So if I go to the properties of this one, I want you to notice something. <clears throat> this one team is going to send out on port number two this command. Okay, so both of those buttons are going to send out an ASCII string. This one is going to send out an ASCII string, say hello on port number one. And this one is going to send out a string that says what on port number two. Now, what do we do about what we, we get back from this? So if I go over here to communications again, and I want you to notice that on both of these ports, I have an on update here of receive port underscore one, open parentheses, and I have another one here, receive port two, open parentheses. So this is actually a program that I've written. And uh, what I did here, now this is something interesting. Normally, you can drag around and drag and drop this here. For some odd reason, team, this is one of those fields that doesn't let you do that. So you have to manually type this command in here. So just to let you know, you have to type that. But anyway, let's go look at the programs. <clears throat> so if I go over here to, to the left and go to programs, click on this receive port one, I want you to notice something. It's a simple command called port input. It has this kind of structure. You might ask, well, where is port input? Well, if I go to the lower right hand corner and click on system again and look in here, there's a command called port input. There's a bunch of other ones too, but here's that command. And if you were to look at the help document of it, you'd see that it has a port number, a start character, an end, a timeout, and some length. So if we look at this one here on port number one, it's going to use port one. There's that number. I don't care about a start character in this. I'm not doing end character. I'm no timeout. And for some reason, I put a length of four. And I think I did the four. 
because this is going to get the what. And if I did the letters of what, that's W-H-A-T, four letters. That's where that's coming up from. This thing is going to put the result of this into this tag right here. Okay. So let's look at the other one here. <clears throat> let's go look at receive port number two that I have. This is exactly the same, except for it's on port number two, and it's going to get our length of five. Because this is going to be the one that receives hello. One H, if we count this down, H E L L O, that's five letters. So that's why I put that at five. Okay. So that's what we're doing here. Let me go back to the web server and show a little more live demo here, real quick. So here's the, I start out the video with this, and I've got this, uh, I think I've got my camera working here. And, uh, there's the ports. There's one here and one here. I don't think I can turn on. Let me look at something. If I turn on my light, eh, you can see this is one of the RS-232 ports here. Uh, actually, it's that's Ethan. It's this one here and this one here. But so I want to, I have no cables connected right now. I want you to see what happens when I hit the send what. So let's see if the, okay, the camera picks it up. So I added to Crimson a little green thing here blinky blinky but i really want you to watch the the camera here i hope this shows up in the video well we'll see so you can see it blink right there let's say if i press the other one is this rs232 port here and let's see it show up there it goes i don't know why the but you can see it blink and that's the other one so that's that port there and that's the other one now i don't have any cables connected yet so i'm going to do this i'm going to go ahead and uh Go back to the main page here, to where we're demoing, and let me plug in a couple cables. Wait a minute, before I get the cables, hold on. So the, the raw wiring, uh, Redline uses an RJ12 connector, which is a six pin. I found that the color code is consistent with this, with most uh, RJ12 6P, 6C style connectors. This is the color code, so this is how it is in one picture I found. And then it's flipped when you plug in here. So, and I got a DB9 going to one end, male, and a DB9 female on the other. I'm going to throw in a, something cooler here. I have one. So here's the RJ12 goes here. Here's to the male. I'm showing the color code pinout. And, of course, this is the documentation from Red Lion's uh, website on the RJ12, which lands over here. So that's what I'm doing in that case. Uh, you can just see right here, team, that... Uh, Pin number four is not being used. Pin number nine is not being used. And neither is pin six. But anyway, this shows the wiring here on the male end of this example. And if I go to the female end, there it is there. Again, I'm doing the same wiring. The only difference is on the female end, I've switched pins two and three. So I'm taking the TX from one to the RX on the other and the RX from the other. I'm switching those two. So that's making my null modem connection in this example. And that's what I'm showing here as well. So that's what we're doing in the wiring. Let's go back to our demo. Still got my camera on. <clears throat> now notice if I hit the hello send here, you see the blink light. I do the other one here, I, I get the blinky, but I'm not getting anything back because I don't have the cable plugged in. So give me a second, I'm gonna plug in these cables. Let's see if I turn on my light here. And plug in my RJ12. Got those two cables plugged in. We'll let the camera resettle here. And if I hit a send hello, there you go. I get the hello. And I don't know if you noticed, but there was a red light on the port. Let me do a send what. Let's see what happens here. See the red light there? So there's a green light on the transmit one. And there's a red light on the green one. On the uh the one that let me back up. The green light on the one that transmits, red light on the one that receives. So if I do that one. I don't think my camera's picking up as well. And this cable seems to be right in the way. But anyway, so kind of a cool example. I'm just really sending ASCII from one to the other in this demo. And uh, that's what.